I'm Jeff Briggs, and welcome to The Weekend Martial Artist. Joining me is my actress buddy Jennifer Fenlon and my buddy Matt Doucette. Now before we get into today's technique, I'd like to talk just a little bit about a piece of martial arts etiquette that'll be very important. For instance, today we're working on a front choke or somebody grabbing you by the throat. If Matt grabs me by the throat and he's grabbing too tight, I can't really tell him that he's choking me. So in the martial arts, we have a thing called tapping. You can tap like this. You can tap like this, you can tap with your feet, you can go tap, 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 if you can talk and not move your arms. Tapping just means I submit, you got it, hey, that hurts, stop. It's universally recognized. So, Matt's gonna grab me with both hands by the throat, okay? First thing I'm going to do is put the tip of my tongue onto the hard palate roof of my mouth. I can still breathe even if he squeezes, go ahead. But, and it gives me a second or two to think about it. So he grabs, he's a friend who grabs. So now, just standing here, it's not that big a deal, but we'll do a technique. So he grabs, not very tight. I will step back and push his elbows up and inward. Very simple technique, go ahead. So he grabs, you can even grab a little tighter, Matt. You can actually grab my throat, thank you. Roof to the top of the mouth, step back, push and up. Very simple, out. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, go ahead. Okay. One last time, did you ever, I can't see obviously inside your mouth, but did you notice the difference? Yeah. But just a small amount of pressure so she can feel that she can still breathe. Go ahead, one more time. Simple, very good. Now we'll say that Matt is an aggressive friend or somebody that we know is a little more aggressive about the grab, so he grabs a little tighter. <laughs> Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, All right? Now, we try pushing and for some reason if this doesn't work, we shake hands with ourselves. Make sure that our fingers aren't interlaced, but our fingers are across. We shake hands with ourselves, and we just push to one side as we step back. So he grabs, step back. Very simple. It's almost like a baseball swing, but very light. You don't have to do it hard. Of course, one more time when he does that, hey, that hurts. Sorry. Stop that. Go ahead. Very good. One more time. Now, let's say that Matt is a stranger who for some reason I let get close enough to grab me by the throat. So he grabs, so I put the tongue in the roof of my mouth and squeeze. We do that first move and the second move. And now picture your best ever baseball swing. We've knocked our hands this way, we've knocked our hands this way. We start with the hips, we swing, and we go for the fence. So one more time, he grabs, and home run time. Give it a shot. Got a little hitch in your swing, you know, sort of a sort of sort of, sort of like a Manny Ramirez thing. I think I think you want to take a smoother swing. So try it again. Much better. Now again, remembering what we learned at the beginning, if Matt grabs this a little tight. And for some reason we're startled, we can't get out of it, whatever, we just get confused. You can either tap yourself or tap your opponent, your partner, and they'll let go. This is The Weekend Martial Artist. I'm Jeff Briggs, along with Jennifer Fenlon and Matt Doucette. If for some reason the technique that I'm demonstrating, working with a partner doesn't work, grab real tight. Means let go. <laughs>